Allison, Allison Acker. I joined the Grannies in, um, where are we, 1989 when I moved out to Victoria. And I'm the second oldest Granny, I'm 87. Uh, I moved out to get away from a lot of uh, my activity in working with um, Latin Americans, especially Central Americans and Chileans. I wanted to get away from them and from my family and I heard about the Raging Grannies. Uh, and they sounded as though they not only were doing good stuff uh, and uh, knew what they were talking about, but they were having fun. And I was sick and tired of meetings where there's no fun. So I love the Raging Grannies. Uh, a lot of them are friends. Um, I find that um, if I, something happens to me, like I recently broke an arm, uh, there are raging grannies at the door with chicken soup within five minutes. You know? um, and we look after each other as a support group, but also we make a difference. So um, my particular area, though I'm, I'm, although I'm, I'm fascinated and interested in um, um, the uh, climate change and the environment, and um, I did two weeks in jail for Clyapot. My particular interest right now is homelessness and poverty. Um, it seems to me such a pity that Victoria, a beautiful, wonderful uh, city, should have such um, a break between the rich and the poor. Um, the well-established people or the people who have good government jobs uh, and the people on the street. So I've been um, working with the street people for at least 10 years. Um, started off as the uh, dish pig, uh, dishwasher at our place. Um, and sort of now I'm being secretary to the committee to end homelessness. Um, and it still breaks my heart. Um, so many people I've got to know who've died uh, living on the street in their 40s. Um, people are old by the time they're 50. Uh, it's a rotten way to live. Um, people who have a lot of things going for them. They have education. Um, they've had a job at one time or other. They've just slipped through all the cracks. And once you're down and you're on drugs, you're down. And there seems to be no way up. Um, I'm really angry with particularly our provisional, our a provincial government that does nothing at all to help. I know that um, the BC has the highest rate of child poverty in Canada, and um, the gap here between the rich and the poor is really atrocious. Um, if you're on welfare, and it's very hard to get welfare. I do a single, you get 375 bucks a month to live on. Um, you cannot get a, any sort of um, a room for less than 600 a month. So there you are. Uh, it's extremely hard to exist if you are on disability. Um, extreme disability will rake you in, um, eight, I think, 920 a month. But uh, uh, again, the cheapest um, room, well, the cheapest um, room, maybe even the cheapest apartment, um, is 750 a month. So how do you survive? And the rates for disability and for uh, welfare haven't gone up in seven years. Well, I look at my own finances, and uh, when I go to the grocery store, uh, and I bitch because I can't afford a cauliflower. Um, how do you live? Uh, I don't like to see people having dying on Yates Street, on Fort Street. Um, I had had two really close friends who were uh, on the street. One was uh, Tammy. Uh, she was. Um, part First Nations, and uh, she was a big, strong woman, uh, had done everything in her life, dreadful childhood, um, 
At one time she was on the Picton Farm and managed to escape. Um, she was everybody's big sister. Um, she would help everybody who was, couldn't stand up for themselves. Um, she died aged, I think it's 51, a uh, combination of uh, alcohol poisoning and, um, and early stages of cancer. And 250 people came to her wake. Um, another was um, Priscilla, known as Silly. She was First Nations from a very small reserve. And she really tried her best. She came to Victoria with her grade 8 education and thought it would be like Paris, you know. Uh, got lost, um, had a couple of kids, went back to the reserve, tried again, um, got in with the wrong people. Um, she got in with a group that were drinking cider. Uh, she got thrown out of our place and she was on the street and she died on the street in her early 40s. Um, it seems such a waste and it seems to be um, a very unfair society. Um, I think there's a lot of um, nimbyism and a lot of fear uh, about people on the street. I think people are afraid too that um, they'll be sliding into poverty as um, they lose their savings and can't find a job. Uh, and uh, it's partly the media uh, seems to think and spread the idea that all people who are poor are criminals. Um, some of them maybe, <laughs> but the majority aren't and they're doing their very best. So I enjoy it. Um, it's always hard work, and um, we don't get any easy results. But um, I think it's an important issue for grannies. Uh, we tend to be really nice white middle class people who are still thinking of charity instead of justice. So that's my big beef. I, I love being a granny. I like singing. Um, I've, I've. Uh, 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 two convictions of mischief, which is a lovely thing for a granny to have, uh, but I've never had any problem crossing the border or anything like that. Um, I really enjoyed two weeks in jail for Clarkwatt, seven women and 250 men, the last Kuwait jail in BC. Um, so the grannies have brought me lots of interesting experience. And life, and um, I treasure treasure. Uh, I treasure my time with them. Is that enough? <laughs>